We begin now with the second impeachment trial of former President Donald Trump. In just a few hours, lawmakers on Capitol Hill will argue whether it is constitutional for the Senate to prosecute a former president. The trial is likely to last a week. A two-thirds vote to convict Mr. Trump and bar him from future office is seen as unlikely, but Democrats are hopeful some Republicans will vote with them when the trial is completed. CBS 4 Delbra Ferron has... Francis and Maribel, today is going to kick off with a discussion on whether or not it's constitutional to try a former president in the Senate. It's expected that they're going to vote that they actually can go through with this, and then arguments will start tomorrow. Advisors to former President Donald Trump are confident heading into his second impeachment trial today. We already know how this is going to turn out. I mean, there, there's no chance that there's actually going to be a, a conviction. Democrats will try to convince at least 17 Republicans that Mr. Trump incited an insurrection on the U.S. Capitol on January 6th. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. In a 78-page brief, Mr. Trump's lawyers called the case sterile and thin, political theater and a danger to our republic, democracy, and the rights that we hold dear. Really what we're seeing here is cancel culture via the Constitution. House impeachment managers say the former president's behavior was the most grievous constitutional crime ever committed by a president. Sweeping such something as momentous as this under the rug brings no healing. Arguments begin this afternoon on whether it's constitutional for the Senate to try a former president. And then starting tomorrow, it's expected each side will have up to 16 hours to make their case. And the only logical conclusion is that Donald Trump should be convicted. New York Democrat Hakeem Jeffries was an impeachment manager in President Trump's first trial. Connecting the dots is going to be an important part of what the House impeachment managers do as it relates to how we arrived at January 6, connected to the big lie that Donald Trump told. Democrats are not expected to call any witnesses, instead choosing to show video evidence. The one thing both sides agree on is that they want this to be a swift trial. The last impeachment lasted about three weeks. This one, we could have an answer next week. On Capitol Hill, Deborah Alferone, CBS 4 This Morning.